In Genesis chapter 2, starting with verse 4, you can find a second creation account. It's somewhat similar to the previous, but it also contains some new details. Obviously, the two accounts are complementary. In many ways, the second account explains the first. But there is something more than that. In the first creation account, we read that vegetation was created on day three and humans on day six. The second creation account points out in Genesis chapter 2 verse 5 that prior to man's creation, some plants did not exist. No seach hasadech, that is no spiny or thorny plant, no xerophyte, had yet sprung up. Also, no aseb hasadech, that is no grain plant that needs cultivation, had grown. And of course, at that time, there was no need for a man to till the soil. In Genesis chapter 3, verses 17 to 19, we are told that these plants, thorns and thistles, and grains that need cultivation, as well as the tilling of the soil, in verse 23, are consequences of Eve's and Adam's disobedience. In other words, we have a before and an after. Another aspect. Genesis 2, 18 through 25 describes the perfect complementarity and harmony between Adam and Eve as they were created. In Genesis 3, 12 through 16, you can see how as a result of the fall, their relationship starts suffering. Again, before and after. So what's going on here? If you look carefully, you will see a beautiful chiastic structure that looks like this. The peak of this chiasm is Genesis chapter 3, 6 through 8, the section that describes the fall. So this second creation account is here to show what life was like before the fall, and it is paralleled by what life became after the fall. There's something special here. In this painful story, God's covenant name, Yahweh, appears for the very first time. And we are given the very first prophecy about the Savior. Shalom.